Hello you fantastic people and welcome back to Borderlands 3. I have another exciting video for you guys today. The dedicated drop has been found for the Infinity Pistol as well as the Ogre Assault Rifle. Two amazing weapons in Borderlands 3 and they drop in the same place which is awesome because they've been dropping two really good weapons in the same place together quite frequently like the Maggie and the Lyuda, the Rowan Skull and the Lucian Skull are together. Now the Infinity Pistol and the Ogre. Now in order to farm either of these two fantastic weapons at their dedicated drop locations you're going to have to progress enough through the story to rescue Sir Hamill and then he'll return to Sanctuary in his cool office with all the um, crew challenge hunt heads um, and then he'll give you another side mission which is essentially saving his prison gang that he had while he was captured by the uh, COV. If you guys haven't done that mission yet you'll just have to collect it from him do the whole mission through uh, and then there is a boss inside that mission which we're going to be farming. If you guys have done that then perfect you can go straight there and just for those who don't remember how to get there you're going to have to go down to Eden 6. He's currently in the Anvil and from the fast travel location, you're going to want to have to run all the way through these bandit camps here. There's a whole bunch of bandits and anointed enemies. If you're doing the mission, you're going to have to do a few things first, like collect echo logs and verse a few other anointed enemies. But once you get to around this area here, this is the big uh, mosh pit essentially. Once you get here, you're just going to run to the left up here through this room. And if you guys remember from the story, this is where you originally meet Tiny Tina. There is a new station just around here, which is perfect because it's next to an ammo dump. Now, if you don't run up there first, you actually spawn in this room here. There is a new station here. Uh, which is just as fine you can use this as well but it doesn't have an ammo dump and it does require you to run through the mosh pit and up the stairs again where this one you can collect your ammo or run on the top balcony here and you're going to be wanting to head up this area just here now I'll just show you guys a few runs on screen just so you guys can see where you're going to run from it's not too far of a distance um, you're going to be farming the anointed alpha which is the last boss you uh, fight in the malevolent practice I want to say that's how you pronounce it uh, the side quest you get from Sir Hamelock himself for his prison gang um, just after you find Dean he comes out you can get this on any level by the way it can be a normal mode true vault hunter mode may have one two three or four or any combo of the above because it is a dedicated drop in Borderlands 3 it will have the same drop rate regardless of if you're in mayhem one through four in true vault hunter mode or normal mode and regardless of if you had luck artifacts and or guardian ranks that increase your luck uh, it has about 10 percent chance to drop uh one of the three rep three weapons that are in his um dedicated pool uh which includes the standardized link which is a pistol that was in his um dedicated drops from the very start of the game uh which is an atlas pistol it's pretty cool if you guys want to check that one out as well uh, the infinity pistol and the ogre so all three have a chance to drop um once at a time at about 10% chance uh, so it does take a while I got my infinity pistol the first time on my sixth run which is pretty quick and I got a link uh, on my second run so I did get mine pretty early on uh, it wasn't too hard to farm for myself but it wouldn't surprise me if it did take you guys longer so be prepared to farm for a while now as for the fight itself it's actually not too bad particularly compared to other mayhem four bosses who are super difficult uh, for this guy I used my corrosive Lucian skull mostly for the high fire rate and the fact that I have a added bonus to my skill tree via my class mod which essentially just lets me shoot a whole bunch of projectiles at once um, and then that results in a whole bunch of critical hits whole bunch of damage and gets my fadeaway back even faster and as soon as I have my fadeaway I'm just doing a crap load more damage which is perfect uh, for this guy he has a bunch of immunity stages usually two to three once you get to about I'd say a quarter to a third of his health he goes into his first immunity stage has a little bubble thing around him so you can't hit him and he shoots out like three to five um, minions of himself like the a duplicate of himself uh, same attacks except I feel like they're definitely um, better because there's like three to five of them and they're hard to like focus on the guy himself barely ever hurt me uh, because I could just focus on shooting him in the head and he really had really had time to actually attack but when there's like three to five of them they're kind of crazy I did down a few times fighting these guys but they do take a lot of damage from shock because they have a blue health bar so definitely take a shock weapon I use my Rowan's call I even use my star helix just because it has an anointment that has 125 percent increase in weapon damage or something like that um, after action skill action skill usage uh, which I use all the time as well so that worked out perfectly for me but I'm sure you guys have a whole bunch of builds uh, for your particular characters that will work well just essentially any good shock weapon will do but yeah that's pretty much all I have for the ogre assault rifle and the infinity pistol dedicated drops both amazing legendary weapons in Borderlands 3 if you guys haven't used the infinity pistol recently I definitely uh, recommend you guys checking it out at the start of the game it was pretty weak the damage was super low particularly compared to the borderlands 2 version which was like one of my favorite weapons uh, it has had a buff and it's definitely worthwhile using definitely not the strongest uh, pistol in the game of course because it does have infinity bullets that would be kind of broken if it did uh, but i use it regularly for things like circles of slaughter 
particularly the ghosts in the bloody harvest update if that's still around for the next couple of days it's really good for that uh, and just using it for just small mobs essentially it's just a lot of fun using a gun that just literally never runs out of bullets but yeah i hope you guys found this video enjoyable or helpful at all if you did feel free to smash subscribe it down below we just smashed through 3,000 subs recently which is absolutely amazing i can't actually wrap my head around it yet i don't think it's actually hit that we've hit 1,000 subs in my mind yet so thank you very much for that you guys are absolute legends uh if you guys want to like the video and share the video that would be amazing uh leave a comment down below if you guys have any info on dedicated drops or any places you want me to test out if you guys think that a particular legendary comes from a particular boss but yeah other than that hope you guys have a fantastic day i shall see you guys in the next video until then adios